leaving a vessel at sea or anchorage can be dangerous. However, by following simple rules, you can do it safely. This video will show you how you can have a safe boarding experience. Prepare yourself. In most cases, boarding is done from the PLO launch or supply boat to a larger vessel that is either anchored or moving slowly. Personnel involved in a transfer should be physically able to make the transfer and should understand the intended activity and the transfer method being proposed. Before boarding the PLO launch, check your current physical condition. Are you physically fit enough to climb straight up a high rope ladder? Are you scared of heights? Do you suffer from motion sickness? Are you currently taking prescription medication that can affect your balance, cause dizziness or lightheadedness, drowsiness or that impairs alertness or judgment? Is your sense of balance good enough to step off a rocking boat onto a rope ladder that is hanging from a ship that might also be moving up and down? Are you properly dressed to climb a rope ladder with shoes that have non-skid soles and low heels? Is your clothing loose enough to allow you to climb freely, but not so loose that it will catch on ladder rungs or handrails? Your safety is a priority. PLO launch crew have a right to refuse to carry passengers that they consider to be a potential risk to the safety of themselves or the launch crew. Before boarding, the PLO launch crew will fit you with a personal flotation device. Keep this on you until you are safely up the ship's deck. Getting there. Remain seated during the entire launch ride to the ship. The launch crew will ask you to fill in the conveyance log sheet. As you approach the vessel, you will see the pilot ladder arrangement that you will use to get on board the vessel. The combination of a rope ladder and metal gangway combines the safest and most stable footing during your transfer. You may also see other combinations, gangway only or rope ladder only. The launch captain will then start the maneuver to get the launch alongside the ship at the base of the pilot ladder. The launch will rise and fall with the swells of the sea. The launch crew will then confirm that the ladder is ready to receive passengers at the top of the pilot ladder. The launch captain and crew will only allow you to do the transfer from the launch to the rope ladder if conditions are safe. A PLO crew member will call the passengers one at a time. For safety reasons, you will be asked to walk across the outer side of the PLO launch. It is imperative that you hold onto the handrails at all times to maintain balance. It is not too late to say no and decline to board the vessel. There is no shame in declining. Safety is a priority. At this time, make sure that you do not have anything clipped to your belt, like mobile phones, keys, or any other items. These could drop and fall into the water, or worse, injure someone on the launch below. Do not carry any luggage or wear backpacks when climbing the pilot ladder. The launch crew will lift such items separately onto the main deck of the ship. A crew member will tell you where to stand and when it is best to climb the ladder. When waiting to transfer from the launch to the ladder, remain alert, keeping your eyes on the pilot ladder at all times. Do not look back to see what is going on behind you. It is important to note that after each transfer, the launch will pull slightly away from the ship. This is done to ensure that the person going up the ladder will not fall onto the launch if they lose their grip. Only one person at a time will climb up or down the ladder. The next person will climb the ladder once the ladder is free. If at any point you have doubts, please inform a crew member. When you get the go command, you should grab the ladder without hesitation. Step off the launch and immediately climb at least five steps to get yourself away from the launch. Remember, you are climbing a rope ladder and it will slightly pull away from the ship as you climb it. Do not be alarmed by this. 
Concentrate on climbing those first few steps and you will find your balance. When climbing, keep your body close to the ladder. This increases stability and prevents the ladder from twisting from side to side. With your body close to the ship and your eyes on the ladder, continue climbing until you reach the point where your feet are at the same level or slightly higher than the metal gangway. Your aim is to step down from the ladder onto the gangway. At this point, take hold of the gangway railing with one hand, then move one foot across. Next, shift your other hand to the gangway and then your other foot. The point is to move one hand or one foot at a time. Once on the gangway, firmly grasp the handrails and proceed slowly up to the deck. Take short rests anywhere necessary should you feel tired. At the top of the gangway, you will be greeted by the deck watch. Leaving the ship. When it is time to leave the ship, make sure you tell the ship officer any pertinent information about yourself and your luggage. This information will be conveyed to the launch captain and crew. The launch captain and crew will only allow you to descend the ladder and transfer to the launch if the sea conditions are safe. You can still decline to descend if you are unsure. Keep your hands firmly on the guide rails of the gangway as you walk down to the pilot ladder. Before you begin climbing down the pilot ladder, take note of the movement of the launch. Its rise and fall will determine when you will be told to transfer from the ladder to the launch. To reach the pilot ladder, take hold of it with one hand, then move one foot across. Next, shift your other hand to the ladder and then your other foot. As you descend, remain aware of your surroundings. Keep your eyes on the ladder and keep your body close to the side of the ship. You will not be able to see the launch at all times. Do not look away from the ladder and try to spot it. This could cause you to lose your balance. As you're near the bottom of the ladder, listen closely to what the launch crew member tells you and follow his instructions carefully. The crew member is watching all the conditions and will give you clear instructions on when to make the transfer safely. When you get the go command, let go of the ladder, put one foot on the deck of the launch and at the same time, reach for the launch railing with your hand. Do not step onto the railings of the launch. The only secure footing is on the deck itself. Never jump from the ladder onto the launch. This could result in serious injury. It is important to note that after each transfer, the launch will pull slightly away from the ship. This is done to ensure that the next person coming down the ladder will not fall onto the launch if they lose their grip. Transfers are normally very safe when you and the vessel crew take all the necessary precautions. Summary. People intending to board the vessel should be physically fit, appropriately dressed, able to follow instructions, are not afraid of heights and are not prone to motion sickness. When climbing the pilot ladder, remember, keep your eyes on the ladder at all times. Do not look back to find the launch. Keep your body close to the ladder. Do not lean out or leave space between yourself and the ladder. Listen to, trust, and immediately follow the instructions you were given by the launch crew. Do not hesitate, doubt, or improvise. In the unlikely event that you fall into the water, the launch crew will respond immediately to retrieve you. They have received extensive training and train regularly in man-overboard scenarios.